I've written out today's intro on a notepad and I'm going to translate it with Google Translation and try and speak the intro in Spanish. The only word I know in Spanish is hola, so I'm sorry if my accent is absolutely terrible. Hola, Espanol Jeremy's. Esparo que puedes entender esto. Sabias que si te subscribes eres el mejor. Eso es un hecho divertido, no? De todos modos, comencemos el video. I'm so sorry to all people who speak Spanish. Welcome back to X Life, where I feel like finishing off the back of this base. Shall we do it? We shall. Yes, that's right. We're starting off today with a bit of a big time lapse. I'm not sure how long this took exactly, but as you can see here, I was replacing a load of the stone with grass in front of the base because it was looking really ugly. And I just wanted to sort of like make it look a bit more green as the, the stone by itself just looks terrible really when you think about it but we also came up with a design for the back of this base and I was unsure what to do but I kind of wanted to make it similar to the front of the base but not as big as it's like a doorway so I came up with this whole like window design where we'd have a big sort of fancy window which you can see there kind of like a rose window you'd get on a cathedral or something like that and then we'd have the roof in a very similar style it doesn't stick out as much as the entrance as you can see from this view here so it's a lot thinner in the way it sticks out but it is very similar in like you know how it shapes up with the two towers etc and we got it done and now this base is pretty much completely built on the outside all we have to do is start adding in some like details like some greenery around it some trees etc so now inside it's fully covered yay there's nothing gonna apart okay apart from that bit that bit's not covered but as you can see in here it's all really rather complete apart from the fact that the inside is just a bare bones nothingness apart from this section here but let me show you around the other side so as you can see i think it works really well i really like the window i think it fits in perfectly with the design you kind of got like the big dome so like circles work really well i was gonna put a door on here but i think i might have a door where that is instead like drop down underneath and we can have like sort of you know like a back door there as well but yeah really happy with this and also out front you may have noticed from that little intro clip all the chests apart from a couple are gone the only ones that remain have these prismarine crystals and just raw cod in them hey that one can go so i'm a bit unsure what to do with all that i might just let it despawn to be honest but that's because i put it all in my chest system and we, we had a lot of stone and cobblestone and dirt all these chests on here up to the top of these two rows are full and even on the third row it's mostly full it goes all the way up to that ch second chest there and cobblestone goes up to like there it's mental and we got dirt and grass grass just full chests of grass full chests of dirt as you can see here everything else is organized it's all working out really well started labeling some of these chests here as well so we've got our dyes chest we've got some flowers in here we've got like backpacks and then all our sort of like wallpaper craft stuff here coal ore because i've got all the coal ore then, you know, these Kelpie blocks here. Yeah, it's, it's looking good. I'm really happy with this. But I realized last episode, I forgot to blooming change the billboards. So we're going to go do that now. Starting with Cook Up A Storm M on Twitter, who made this awesome sign. It was a bit too small, so I added in the little blurred edges there. But the Beans Palace is looking epic in their drawing. I love it. And then we've got this one here from Panow8 on Twitter. Love it. Look how cheery I look. And finally, this one here from Draws Maddie on Twitter. Love it, look at me. Thank you for your awesome billboards. Remember, if you wanna submit them, just tweet at me or put them on Instagram. Although I was thinking of maybe making a subreddit soon. So if you think that's a good idea, let me know in the comments. There's a random sign here saying crafts from Catlandia. Is this is this a shop at spawn? Jeez, let's head to spawn. Ah, what is this? Welcome to my art studio. Feel free to look around. All items are display only. If you would like to buy a painting, head to the car across from the studio. Oh, oh, this is cute. Oh my gosh. This is all really, really cute. Aha, uh -huh. so this is where you buy it. Paintings are diamond each. Let's see what we have. I really like these cactus and clocks. So I'm going to buy one of those. Lovely. We love helping out with the economy. I'm probably not going to use many of these for now. I need to interior decorate my place first. And speaking of which, I think we should do that now. But first, I kind of need to figure out where everything's going to go in here. Because at the moment, we've got a lot of empty space and no plans. But I'm thinking we have stuff over in all these corners here by these windows. And then we have another floor up there. But I do like the dome being here and being able to see all the way up to the top. So 
maybe we'll still have like an open area in the middle. And for some reason, people really want me to have like a massive fish tank in here, which I kind of like, but I've had another idea, which I think you'll like just as much. I've got this idea and I'm not sure how I'm going to pull it off, but this might be more of an experimental build to see if we can get it looking okay. I'm going to go gather some materials, then let's cut to the time lapse. Hopefully, we can make this place look really good. Ha, psych, no time lapse just yet. Instead, let me show you what I've come up with for a design here. It's very basic at the moment, but the blue bits you're seeing, they're water. Obviously, it looks quite bad like this, but let's hope we can make this look good by starting with the building. Honestly, the interior of this thing is probably gonna take twice as long to build as the exterior. For some reason, I've decided to make this ridiculous thing here and also change all of the walls inside to be a different color because I just really don't like how they look on the inside. It's quite dark and I want to make it a bit lighter as such. You'll see a bit later what I use, but at the moment, we're making these sort of like little sections where the water is going to go, which I think looks really nice. We've got some lamps in there, some blocks fading inwards and we've also got the wall here as you can see being added in which are these white bricks from the wallpaper craft mod and honestly I just wanted it to be like a different color this is not going to be the final thing by the way we're going to add like details designs on this and stuff hopefully we can make it look really really good but it's going to take a lot of time okay so be patient with me please now as you probably know I spend a lot of time planning stuff out however with this all I was going off was that picture I showed you at the start. So it's not fully complete yet, but I've got some ideas on my head of what I want to do. And some of them are adding some pillars going up in these sections here, but I need to sort of work out where they're going to go. But I think the white brick just makes everything look so much nicer. And once we get some like lights in here and stuff, it should look so much better. If I head over here, and yes, I'm still using the ring at the moment, despite not building, it just looks a bit darker over here, the greens and stuff. So I think this section, when this is all filled, up is going to look really nice. We've got the entrance hall here as well, which I'll probably just put a roof on this. Although I could have like another floor on here. So we do have this lovely window and these windows here we can take advantage of. But you know how Jeremyville is like really overgrown and stuff? I kind of want to do the same in the center of this base where we'll have like leaves falling down and stuff. I've got these ideas, right? They're just a bit tricky to pull off. This all takes quite a lot of planning and time, so it's going to be a slower process. But I'm happy with what we got so far. Before we get working on that, I fancy a bit of an adventure. And there's one dimension we haven't been to yet, and that is the Gaia dimension. So I want to go check it out. It's apparently not too hard to make a portal. We need some redstone. We also need this glint and gold to light it. Wait, it's meant to be a really bright fire. I don't want to set fire to anything in my house, though. What happens when you right-click the ground with this? Okay, it just makes yellow fire. So then we make some of these keystone blocks, like so. I think that should be plenty. Where should we put the portal? I kind of want to make a nice portal eventually. But for now, we'll just plop it down over here. Mm, yeah, we probably need to make a nice portal as this is um hideous. Although I do like the pink glow. Let's head in. Oh, ooh, new trees. The leaves sound like they're glass. What does this look like? Ugh. They look like crystals, which does make sense as this is like the crystal dimension. I presume there's different biomes. Oh yeah, look, there's a pink one over there. Is that sand? I can't tell. It looks everything looks weird in this dimension. Is this just basic sand? Oh, it's salt. We should give some of this to Callum and Scott, just to, like to remind them of the good old League of Villains times. The victims loved salt. What can you do with all this stuff? Is it just decoration? There's a dinosaur over there. Hello. He seems friendly. Gosh, he's quite tall, isn't he? I could go for a few dinosaur pets. It's not very pretty here, is it? The sky is very yellow, and I kind of hate it. Oh, look at this green tree. Kind of hideous. What was that? Oh, it's a big old dinosaur. It's a big old turtle. I don't have my sword that I can kill stuff with, but oh, that's the thing Callum fought in the arena, so let's stay away from that dude. This bit looks kind of spooky. Oh, look at that thing. Hello, fella. Are you friendly? What is this? Is this liquid? Does the liquid hurt? Oh gosh, the liquid hurts, the liquid hurts. Don't know what it is, but it hurts. If anyone in the comments knows anything about this dimension, please let me know what's good to do here. Maybe I'm just being stupid. But I kind of just want to work on the interior of my base. In fact, let's go do that. So I kind of want to make these pillars out of marble. We just don't have a lot of it. I think I've got some in here. Yeah, this is it. I think I'll design some quickly. You know what? 
let's cut to another time lapse, shall we? Because we want this interior looking presentable for you guys at the end of this video. And oh boy, this is a big transformation. I am super pleased with how this has turned out looking. Honestly, I had this idea in mind and it's turned out exactly how I'd like sort of pictured it in my mind. Water everywhere. We got these big marble pillars. We've got like sort of greenery and stuff you'll see a bit later. But right now we're working on these pillars. We've got little bits of water pouring out of it. These are all lined up perfectly. And you can see me here adding in some greenery plus some other walkways. I thought this was really cute adding in some bamboo, some lily pads, etc. Plus I got working on the next floor, which you can see here. It's not perfect yet, but I'm still working on it. And then we started adding in some like greenery hanging down with these leaves here, which I think looks really good. There's still a load of work to be done, but I think this is a really good start. It's still a bit dark in some places, but everything is looking so much nicer. Look at this. There's like these little pathway walkways across here, shortcuts around, etc. that you can skip this path which I think just works out really nicely. We got the bamboo, we got the ivy, it's all so nice. I'm still not happy with the stairs, right? So these are gonna change for sure. I just don't like how this looks at the moment. But these staircases, they take you up to the next floor here, which I think will be one of two. We're going to have another floor up there again. It's just working out the layout and what we're going to put in all these areas. But look at that. I'm really happy with that. That's looking awesome. There's still bits of details I want to add around, like stuff on the walls. I added this bit here with the water flowing in, but I feel like I need to add some more stuff. And same here as well. This just doesn't look perfect. But you can kind of feel the vibe I'm going for here, and I'm really, really loving it so far. And it's bad. If you look at this side, this is what kind of what it looked like at the beginning, and then turn around and we got this now. Wow. A lot of progress. A whole lot of progress. This entrance hall is still looking quite hideous at the moment. We need to fix that. Somehow, even though we died last episode, I'm pretty sure, we're already on 23 hearts on five i don't know how that's possible and one thing i haven't done yet is check out the five heart club which so happens to be the biggest club i'm pretty sure is this it i think this is it right the entrance yeah this is it wait how do you get in oh you get in from over the top why is there a minecart in here is this for me to ride i'm i'm, I'm very confused there's also a hole in the roof and you can just you know bounce on this slime i, I i'm quite confused but interesting not really much space for a room in there while we're here we may as well check the shop oh four diamonds there another diamond another diamond that's it for now six diamonds that's not too bad looks like thwip's been like sort of doing some stuff at spawn this looks cute and the pathway is all changed which i'm guessing is thwip spawn reminded me of the great times we had when i executed megan and i was thinking i want to execute someone again and last time jack said that he would have done it but he missed out on dying so i think hmm maybe we should go to Jack's and give him an offer. Now, I'm not sure if he's been online yet and seen that I've renamed all his animals to Jeremy. I'm really jealous of his deers with the big antlers. His air is so crowded. I don't know where to put this thing. I might have to put it outside. Holy moly. That's a lot of mycelium. I think we'll put it over here and I'll build like an arrow pointing to it or something. Th there we go. That will do. <laughs> this book says, Dear Jack, I'll be blunt. I want to kill you. Take one of your hearts off you. By force of anvil. How many diamonds slash emeralds would I have to pay you to make this possible? I could also build you something for payment if you prefer that. Let's start bartering how much your life is worth. Let me know your offer. Thanks, Joel, in brackets, the great. I don't know why I did the great. So hopefully he sees that and hopefully we get to kill him. So it's been a long time since I last updated my maps and did the comparison of how it's looking now. And I feel like it's the perfect time now that we basically got the outside of the base completely finished other than, you know, like we need to work on these bits up here still like because this I didn't want this to be grass I wanted to have some trees and stuff and I've actually moved it to the upstairs and I'll show you all the comparisons now so obviously number one can't remember what episode this is looking very basic there's my little house my little village Jeremyville signs not there none of it's really there to be honest Lizzie's base there's no no windmill no flower fields then we moved on and here is some expansion. Jeremyville starting to look a bit bigger. We got the barn in. We got the Jeremyville sign. Windmills up there. Then, of course, Lizzie's area has expanded loads. And now, look at this. I've actually had to make the map a bit bigger because the, the base was not on the screen. Look at this. Look at the difference. It's actually insane between those two images. Just this thing. Look at it. This is the base. For some reason, the white glass up there just doesn't appear. So it's just see-through entirely. And oh my gosh, look at that. 
There's some plumbing snow on my roof still. I'm going to have to go get... Oh, I've already locked the sign. <laughs> no. <laughs> Basically, that's going to be on this plumbing sign forever. There's a bit there as well. Oh, my God. Gosh, but you can see this whole area here has transformed insanely like the panda skulls there on that one But we've made like the pathways up here. It's all looking so much more dense and obviously the animal skulls as well You can actually see them. They actually look pretty cool kind of looks like a bear the otter from this angle The main thing is the base look how big it is It's basically the entire size of the rest of Jeremyville if you compare the two this takes up like six maps It's mad, but this isn't gonna go here. I really need to make a place where I can display these better because at the moment this looks hideous. Look, it just doesn't look good. It's just against the wall because I didn't know where to put it as this massive map wouldn't fit in the old base, but I wanted to move it over here anyway. Also, to make those maps was a massive pain. I kept running out of paper and my sugarcane supply is mega low. Lizzie said I could borrow some of hers, so, so, so I borrowed some. But I think next episode we need to work on that sugarcane farm I've been saying I need to make. I think one of the sections on the side here would be perfect. Also, you'll notice here I've done the greenery and like the flowers and the little bits here. But I haven't done them on this section yet and that's because... I need to change these to be bridges like this. I think that looks so much better than the flat over there. But I need to come up with like a cooler design as at the moment that's looking a bit boring really. We'll see what we can come up with and then we'll add in the stuff over here as well. There's a lot more space over there. These ones are a bit bigger and maybe have the pathway go underneath. That could be really cool. But I actually want to add in some fish into these, which means we have to go collect some fish. Before we do that quickly, I forgot to tell you the plans. So you see this bit here. This bit, the walkway to the outside is going to be here and we're going to have the fish tanks on the side so you can see through into the fish tanks from this level. There'll be glass on the walls here and then we'll probably have a walkway over the top as well. But I thought that'd be a really cool way of leaving the base from that side. Anyway, where was I going? My raft. There we go. Oh, good times. I forgot it. This wandering trader is still here. It's obviously no one's been out here because this wandering trader was here last time I was here. Since I was last here, there's a lot of things that can kill you. But look, there's some seahorses down there. Let's go see if we can grab them. Nice. We've got a load. Let's head home. And I think if you rename these in the bucket, right, they get named. So we'll rename them all to Jeremy, of course. Nice. There's Jeremy number one. Another Jeremy the seahorse. More Jeremys. Yes, all the Jeremys. Yes. Be free, my friends. I'm just going to put them all in this one. That's a, such a pretty seahorse. Look at that. I love that one. Love that, Jeremy. There's a black seahorse. Very cool. Here's Jeremy the Jelly Boy, as you can see. Ow, 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 Jeremy the Jelly Boy, why would you do this to me, friend? Oh gosh, I'm stuck under my own bridge thing. Not a fan of Jeremy the Jelly Boy. Maybe Jelly Jeremy's a bit better. And finally, uh, we got Jeremy. No! Oh, thank goodness. Jeremy survived. Oh gosh, they're going to climb up that water, aren't they, and fall out? Oh no. Hopefully they don't die. Let's add some of these coral things in here as well. Put some on the edge. Obviously, we need to get a load more of this. I'm just experimenting at the moment to see how it looks. But there we go. That's that's got there's a lot of stuff to add into here still. I want Oh gosh, Jeremy, why? There we've got a nice little aqua wildlife section in there. Now we just need a lot more of the like, you know, coral and stuff, and it can look really nice. But I'm really happy with this. I think this area is going to look amazing. I was very scared about what I was going to put inside because I just had no ideas. But I came up with this idea and I'm so happy. I, I really hope you guys like it as well. Let me know if you do in those comments down below. But unfortunately, that is all we have got time for today, guys. I spent way too long decorating the interior of this thing. Next time, we're going to work out what we're going to put in these rooms and stuff. Make that sugarcane farm. And if you've got any suggestions, then please let me know because I always read the comments. Thank you so much for watching this episode, though. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you new and I shall see you another time. Goodbye.